maker of all things. We praise you this morning. We praise you and we stretch our hands to thee. No other help we know. We thank you, Lord, for our God and you have all power in your hands. So therefore, we thank you. We're so careful to thank you for an early rise. Watching over us all night long. Dispatching your angels to stand God all night long. We thank you. And then because of your grace, you touched us with a finger of love. You woke us up out of a deep sleep and a deep slumber. Open our eyes. Everything was all right. For that we thank you. For that we give you praise. Now, Lord, we pray that you dwell in Zion Grove. We pray, Lord, that you touch every heart, touch every mind, heal every sick body today. And by faith, we claim it. Father, we pray that souls are saved today in the name of Jesus. And all of God's children say amen. 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 Come on and tell him he's good. Come on. Say it, say it, say it. He's good. He's good. If you know he's good, you ought to wave your hand. If you ever done anything for you, you ought to wave your hand. Have you ever been sick? Lying in the hospital bed. Have you ever been diagnosed with something that you shouldn't be here today? He's good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I do want to back up for just a second. I did overlook one thing. That's Sister Savannah Brown. Amen. We have your packet. Amen. We want to get you to come get this. Amen. In this packet, you'll find your new members. Uh, manual, amen, and you'll find a welcome letter from Zion Grove, you'll find a welcome letter from myself and my wife, and then you have your Bible. Amen. amen. We're going to ask that, especially this peer ministry, uh, scoop her up, amen. amen. She worked for the Lord. God is good. God is good. Recognizing the ministers of the gospel, all the officers, my wife, all the ministers' wife, and all of Zion Grove, we recognize you and greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who does who does all things well. We thank, Amen, for the reading of the scripture, and we're going to focus just a second, uh, just a few minutes, on that sixth verse. Normally when this, this scripture is read, it's preached from that fourth verse where it said, Jesus heard that, heard that, and he said that his sickness is not unto death. But we're going to move down further, and we're going to focus on the sixth verse. And I want to read it just once again, and it reads, When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, talking about Lazarus, he abode, am I saying that right, he abode, Lord, two days still in the same place where he was. Amen. If you allow me, or if I can just hold your attention for a few minutes, we're going to talk about in God's time. In God's time. Amen. In God's time. That's something that we're all going to have to learn to say. That's something we're all going to have to learn to believe. That is in God's time is not in our time. Most of us, when we pray, oh, one more thing, Brother Cleveland, you did send me a text. I got you. I got some. I had to work yesterday, so I got you some support money. Amen. We get somebody to give it to you. But when most people pray, Amen. We want things right now. 
where we talk to God, we want what we want, we want how we want it, and we want it when we want it. With no consideration to what God wants. It's always what I want. Amen. When I was growing up, they would always say, me, myself, and I. And it's always about me, myself, and I. Even when we go down on our knees, we don't consider what God wants, and we don't consider when he wants it. This is a story, amen, that's about three siblings and Jesus. It is my prayer that once we complete this message today, that it will open the eyes of all of us concerning the love of Jesus. Not only that, but it would open our eyes and our minds and our hearts to his compassion. Not only that, but to his power. And when we read the text, we need to be able, we, we, I hope that it opens our eyes that everything works on his time. And we don't understand nothing else. When I'm done, we need to realize that it don't work on our time. We simply have two different time schedules. And our time is not of God's time. Amen. When we consider or we celebrate the resurrection, Amen. I hope that we realize that it was all because Christ or God loves us so much. Amen. I'm trying to get to a point. When we celebrate the resurrection, I hope that we realize that the resurrection was because he loves us so much. When we celebrate the resurrection, which we just did last Sunday, I hope that we know that it was done because God has compassion for us. When we celebrate the resurrection, I certainly hope that we do not uh, underestimate the power of God. I hope that we don't underestimate the power that raised him from the dead. I hope that we don't misunderstand it. Amen. I hope that we, 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 we understand that it was in God's time that God would send his son to be born of a woman. It was in his time that, 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 that Christ would be wounded and bruised for our transgression. It was in his time that he would bear the cross and march up a hill called Calvary. It was in God's time that Jesus would lay down and give his life, give his hands to the nails, his feet to the ribbon. It was in his time that he would do all of that. This story was a story, brothers and sisters, that was told by one of Christ's disciples by the name of John. John had a special relationship with Christ. Uh, he was one that Christ loved. And we realize that Christ loved everybody, but there was a special bond between John and Christ. This bond was so, so special until when Christ was crucified, hanging on the cross. He put John over the care of his mother. A special relationship. And it was this John that tells a story about Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. It was this John that tells us about these three siblings. And when we look at the story of Jesus, when we look at the text, the text says that Jesus was teaching in a town some distance away. Amen. And this distance was about one day of travel. And Mary and Martha sent for him. Yes. During this time while Jesus was away teaching, Lazarus got sick. And if it was in today's time, I would have to say that he was sick enough to be put into the ICU. Matter of fact, it was in today's time, I would say he was sick enough to put on, some, on life support system. Hey Amen. If it was today's time, you would see tubes down his throat. You would hear the beep of the monitors. You would hear the, the sound of the breathing machine keeping him alive. 
But it wasn't in these times. Mary and Martha sent for Jesus. What a life support system. They sent for another life support system. They sent for another ICU room by the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lazarus was very sick. Amen. Until Mary and Martha sent for Jesus. The Bible said they sent word saying that your dear friend Lazarus was sick. And when Jesus got the news, he responded in that first in that fourth verse when he said, Lazarus' sickness would not end in death. What a promise. What a promise from a doctor. I don't know how many doctors that can tell you that. I don't know many doctors that'll tell you that you can't die or won't die. And I certainly don't know none that'll bring you back. I'd rather trust a doctor who went up on a hill and hung his head in a lot to the shore. I'd rather trust that doctor who gave his life for you and I. In other words, what we're learning here, brothers and sisters, I want you to know if you don't get nothing else, when you're down, that doesn't mean that you're at the end. It means that when you're in trouble, there is a way out. And his name is Jesus. Brothers and sisters, Jesus had a plan. Amen. And he knows exactly what he's doing. I can say that about Zion Grove. Jesus got a plan for you. And he's going to do it in his time. And he knows exactly what he's going to do. He knows exactly what he's going to do in your life. And he knows exactly what he's going to do in my life. He may not always come when you want him. But can I tell you that he will show up? Can I tell you that he is a prayer answerer? Can I tell you that he will heal your sick body? He will show up and he'll do it. Jesus got word of Lazarus. But I like it. Jesus didn't send back a detailed note of his plan. Informing Mary and Martha what he was going to do and why he was going to be late. He just stayed where he was. The Bible say for two more days. How many of you in this house have ever had a situation or a circumstance when you sent for Jesus and it seemed like he tarried? Seemed like he stayed for a few more days. In somebody's case, it may have seemed like he stayed for a few more months. Somebody's case, he may have stayed for a few more years. And in somebody's case, somebody is still waiting right now. But God has a plan. And he will show up. Somebody may have cried out, God, I need you. And he seems like he don't hear your prayer. Somebody cried out in the name of Jesus. But it seemed like he's too busy to come and see about you. But let me tell you, God has a plan. And he does it on his own time. And his plan is to glorify his father. Every now and then you're going to suffer. Every now and then you're going to do, go through some things. But it's all for the goodness of God. You won't praise him if you don't never go through nothing. You won't praise him if you ever, don't ever come and answer your prayer. Every now and then your head's going to be hung down. Every now and then you're going to get sick. Every now and then people are going to talk about you. Every now and then you're going to call on the name of Jesus. may not come when you want it, but he's got a plan, and his plan is to do it in his own time. You may think he's too busy, but he's got a plan. You may be going through some trials and tribulations. It may seem like God never shows up. You may be going through some situations and circumstances, and it seems like God never show up. But let me tell you, keep waiting. Keep trusting. 
and keep believing yes. and keep calling on the name of God. Yes. Don't stop calling on him. Yes. Amen. <coughs> Jesus have a plan for you. Yes. And his plan is to bring glory yes. unto his father. Yes. That's what the text said. Amen. It may be a long time before he answer or respond to your problem. Yes. But you got to learn to wait on him. Yes. You got to learn to trust in him. Yes. Somebody here may be still waiting today. Yes. But can I tell you, don't give up. Yes. Your sickness doesn't mean that it ends in death. Yes. Jesus hear all of your cries. Yes. He feel all of your pain. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yeah. The reason Jesus delayed, amen, Martha yeah. and Mary, yeah. simply because he want to bring glory to his Father. Yeah. He delayed the same way in our life. Yeah. So his Father can get all of the glory. Yeah. Amen. We're going to have to learn to say thank you, God, yeah. for healing my sick body. Thank you, God, for giving me faith and trust to be able to wait on you. He may not come when you want it, but I heard it said he'll always on time. Can I get a witness? He wasn't there when Mary and Martha needed him, but he showed up on time. It wasn't because he didn't love them, but the Bible said he loved them very much. Amen. But he wanted to teach them to have faith in him. He wanted to teach them to wait on me and I'll show up in my time. Can I get a witness? He wanted to teach them to have faith the size of a mustard seed. He wanted to teach them when things seem like they've gone as far as they can go. He's on his way. He wanted to teach them that when you're ready to throw in the towel, I'll come and answer your prayer. Can I get a witness? Ain't God all right? God has a plan for Mary and Martha. And he has a plan for you and I. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that God hears all of your cries and he sees all of your tears. He knows when your pillows are wet in the midnight hours, when tears are rolling down your face. He knows, amen, when your children are not acting right. He knows, Lord, when your spouse is not acting right. But all he wants you to do is call on him. Send word to Jesus. Let him know that I need you. And then wait on him. Ain't God all right? He feel all your pains. And he knows all about your hurts. Can I get a witness? But you need to know that God does not work on your time. And he does not work on my time. But God works on his own time. Can I get a witness? And God's time is good time. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yeah. Can I tell you about God's time? Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. In God's time, he'll show up in the times of need. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yeah. In God's time, yeah. he'll work out all of your situations yeah. and all of your problems. Yeah. In God's time, yeah. He'll show up and speak power even over death. Ain't God all right? In God's time, he'll pick you up, turn you around. In God's time, he'll place your feet on solid ground. Can I get a witness? In God's time, he'll raise you above your troubles. In God's time, he'll raise you above your trials. Can I get a witness? In God's time, he'll raise you above your sickness. All sickness 
does not have to end in death. Huh? Can I get a witness? It was in God's time when God said, I'm going to send my son. Ain't God all right? It was in God's time when, when Jesus took off his royal robe. Can I get a witness? It was in God's time when Jesus was born of a virgin mother. Ain't God all right? It was in God's time when Jesus bared our sins. It was in God's time when Jesus was whipped until his body was broken. Can I get a witness? Ain't God all right? It was in God's time when Jesus marched up a hill called Calvary. Ain't God all right? It was in God's time when Jesus laid down on that rugged cross. Can I get a witness? It was in God's time. Ain't God all right? To Jesus gave his hands to the nails. Ain't God all right? It was in God's time when Jesus gave his feet to the nail. Can I get a witness? It was in God's time. Ain't God all right? When Jesus was raised up on that cross. Ain't God all right? It was in God's time when Jesus hung his head and the locks of his shoulder. Can I get a witness? It was in God's time when Jesus gave his life for you and I. Can I get a witness? Ain't God all right? It was in God's time when Jesus moved in the grave. Ain't God all right? It was in God's time when Jesus stepped out of the grave. Can I get a witness? It was in God's time when Jesus got up and declared all power, all power in my hand. Can I get a witness? Let me tell you one more thing. It's in God's time when Jesus said he's coming back. Ain't God all right? He's coming back at the church. Can I get a witness? Without a spot or without a wrinkle. Ain't God all right? It's in God's time when Jesus answered your prayer. Ain't God all right? It's in God's time when Jesus heal your sick body. Can I get a witness? Ain't God all right? It's in God's time. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? It's in God's time when he saved your soul. Ain't God all right? It's in God's time when he put one foot in front of the other. Ain't God all right? Give me power to dance for the Lord. Ain't God all right? It's in God's time when I worship this man called Jesus. Ain't God all right? Do you know him? Do you know him? What's his name? What's his name? Have you tried him? Have you tried him? All you got to do, go down on your knees. Ain't God all right? Send him a message from the depths of your heart. Ain't God all right? Let him know I'm sick and I need you. Ain't God all right? Let him know today. Ain't God all right? Come and see about me. Ain't God all right? Tell him all about your troubles. Ain't God all right? And I want to tell you today. Ain't God all right? Wait on him. Wait on him. Wait on him. Ain't God all right? He'll come, but not on your time. Can I get a witness? Ain't God all right? He'll come. He'll seal your sick body. Ain't God all right? He'll come. Lift you up out of your troubles. Ain't God all right? He'll come. Step into your situations. Ain't God all right? He'll show up 
on his time. Thank God Almighty. Whatever you're going through, he'll show up. Thank God Almighty. Have faith the size of a mustard seed. Wait on him. Wait on him. Wait on him. Wait on him. I wonder if anybody here can wait on the Lord. Thank God Almighty. Wonder anybody in this house have faith to wait on Jesus. Thank God, all right. I wonder anybody in this house can call his name and tell him by faith. Thank God, all right. I'm waiting on you. By faith, I received your healing. Thank God, all right. I wonder if anybody in this house can call his name, call his name, tell Jesus, I'm sick, I can't make it without you, ain't God all right, let him know I need you, ain't God all right, let him know I can't walk without you, I can't talk without you, ain't God all right, let him know I'm going to keep still, I'm going to wait on you, huh? Ain't God all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Can you wait on him? Can you trust him? Can you trust him? Can you give him your life this morning? Now I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if anybody in this house can wait on him. Can you wait on him? Can you wait on him? I declare, brothers and sisters, if you wait on him, He'll come and see about you. I declare if you wait on him, he'll answer your prayer. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Let him do it in his time. Ain't God all right? Let him do it when he want to do it. Ain't God all right? Just keep still and wait on God. Ain't God all right? He'll show up. He'll show up. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Help me call his name. Help me call his name. Jesus. 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 Ain't God all right? The Bible says he's Alpha and Omega. Ain't God all right? The Bible says he's the beginning and he's the end. Ain't God all right? Somebody know him as a doctor. Ain't God all right? Somebody know him as a lawyer. Ain't God all right? Somebody here know him as a mother. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Your head may be hung down, but wait on him. Ain't God all right? Food may be running out, but wait on him. Bills may be passed through, but wait on him. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Children may not be acting right, but wait on him. Ain't God all right? Ain't he all right? Give it to him. Sit back and wait on God. I wonder, I wonder, can you wait on him? If you can wait on him, you ought to wave your hand. Let him know I'm waiting on you. Let him know by faith I receive my healing. By faith, I receive my blessing. By faith, I'm gonna wait on you to come and see about me. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Has he ever come see about you? Ain't God all right? Has he ever healed your body? Ain't God all right? Has he ever opened blind eyes? Ain't God all right? Has he ever give sight to the mind? Wait on him. Wait on him. Let him do it in his time. Stop rushing God. He don't work on your time. He work on his time. Because you're going through something does not mean that's the end. The Bible said, just wait on him. The Bible said he stayed there for two more days. To you it may be too much. 
it may be two years. For some of us, it may even be two decades. But wait on it.
be one. Give your life to Christ today. Would that be one? You don't even have to join this church, but give your life to Christ today. You can go to church wherever you want, but give your life to Christ today.
when you hear your name called. I promise you one day it'll be called. And I pray that you are ready. I just want to stand and we're going to let Reverend Hardy close us out, but I, I just want to stand and acknowledge the choir. They did such a wonderful job today. They sang under the anointing. These musicians that have showed up to help us out with are personal friends of mine and we thank God for them. Our piano is just in the cold. Brother Chris, we thank God for you. They do what they do because they have the anointing upon them. You can tell when people sing. You can tell when the spirit is among them. Not only that, but I see it in you. And I'll just thank God for you. I thank God for Zion Grove. We're going to let Reverend Hardy come and send us home with a blessing. Let the church say hallelujah. again, oh gracious Father, we once again uh, have a summer a disappointed place and a disappointed time. We thank you, oh Heavenly Father, for the move. We thank you for the edification. And oh Heavenly Father, we ask now that you bless the food. You bless the hand that prepared it and the body that are going to receive it. And may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and mind in Christ Jesus and all God people sing. Oh, my God.